Okay, thank you. Good morning. Now, today we are going to talk about another very interesting area. And uh, on the very first day when I was discussing about NBA files, one of you asked me about venture capital. When I described, when I just listed venture capital, you asked me what is meant by venture capital. Okay. So there will be a lot of nice stories, innovations, innovative guys that we had to talk today. OK, first of all, we'll just look at what we are doing at banks and finance companies. We are financial intermediaries. We already know that. What are we doing? We collect money from someone else and give that money to another person. And we are regulated. We are responsible for the depositors. And we are very mindful when we are giving away loans. We talked about credit evaluation and only if you, the loan taker, gets qualified, you will only if you are approved by the credit evaluation department, then only you will get the loan. Now I'll give you some examples, some situations. Tell me whether you grant him a loan or not. Number one, there comes a driver, a school van driver, and he has saved about one million. He wants another four million to purchase a van for school service. He has a ready-made clientele, and he has been practicing this for ten years. He has he has uh, collected some money as a down payment and now he's asking for the leasing facility are you willing to give him this loan in addition to that he has earlier purchased a three-wheeler leased out a three-wheeler and has successfully completed paying back are you offering him this leasing facility at a glance tell me yes or no Yeah, will you give him this leasing facility? Yes. Yes. What are we looking at? Very good. Yes. We are ready to give him this loan. What are we looking at? Number one, we look at his payback history. Clip report. He has taken a very good, very good. Clip report. Then, number one, payback history. Number two, we look at a collateral. Now, in this case, until he completes his payout, yes, his school van is registered under our name. We are the absolute owner of his vehicle. So we need not to worry. From one side, we looked at his payback history, clip report is good. The other side, he is giving an asset that is the school van until he fully settles. Absolute ownership lies with us. If he does not pay, we can seize it and resell. So we are very happy with that facility. Number two, there comes a young person, just 19 years old, a school pass out, and he has never taken a loan earlier. He was a student then, and he is not having any asset. He wants to develop a website, a social network like facebook he's coming up with the proposal and he need five million so let's say four million the school van drive asked me four million this guy is also asking me four million am i going to give him that loan no no so conventionally we are looking at him do you have assets no do you have payback history no, how can I trust you? And in addition to that, when I'm giving a loan, the school van becomes my asset. When I'm giving you a loan to develop a web, what is my asset? Space, nothing, intangible. So I'm not ready to give you a loan. Okay. 
as long as we the conventional financiers look at things like this this sri lanka will be the same sri lanka okay now think about many developed countries all of a sudden a very young innovative business guy like steve jobs mark zuckerberg or oh, jeff bezos or oh, maybe those days walter disney a young person comes to the bank and ask a loan bank will not give but they have other alternatives that is venture capital venture capital is different from all other financial intermediaries all other financial intermediaries collect money from someone else and hand over that to another but here a wealthy rich person hand over the money to a young guy only after evaluating a project proposal so that is venture capital and i said we have so many nice stories to tell you along these slides yeah first we'll look at the slides slowly venture capital it's a mechanism of raising private equity for startup companies funding take place after evaluation of project proposals and then and done by angel investors okay so when it comes to banks what are we looking at at least okay we talked about campari five cs okay at least we look at payback history and collaterals but here they look at only project proposal they only look at project proposal so this young person has only a project report proposal in his hand nothing else but well the individuals or maybe even firms by the name of angel investors they are like angels coming from heaven ready to give you money to start up your own business that is venture capital okay so banks and finance companies prefer to avoid these startups because high risk we do not know who they are until they are proven but unproved individuals are given loans by angel investors okay now i want to start up a business okay i want to start up a business what are the options i have If you want to start up a small business, what are the options you have? You don't have money. From where do you get money? Quickly, think and tell me. You want to start up a business. You are just nineteen years old or twenty, twenty-five years old, and you want to start up a business. You have idea, but you don't have money. From where do you get money? informal lending pay rents others others tell me yeah family and friends others Okay, right. We we'll look at the slides, then we'll talk. Sources of financing for small business: your own capital. If you have saved a little bit by now, then that's the beginning. Small business loans, SMEs, maybe from banks, private equity firms, venture capital firms, personal loans, family and friends, banks, trade credit, crowd funding. out of that crowd funding we will describe a little bit later the other all you can understand by now you know what is venture capital now these are the options of obtaining loans for the startup business okay can i 
Yeah. Okay, now, if you can obtain money, if you know the sources of obtaining money to start up business, then you can do it. But you have to brainstorm and think a mechanism of obtaining money. Money is like air. Okay? When you get into swimming, when you start up a swimming session for the very first time in your life, when you get into the pool, what you are really afraid of? Breathing. Okay. So what you do is you take all the air you can and collect it in your lungs and have a passive chest and start to kick. And once your air is gone, then you stand up. Then you start to breathe again. Okay. Have a huge chest filled with all lungs all the air in the lungs and start to move ahead and kick ahead until you stand up again to breathe. Okay. What are you afraid when you try to learn to swim? Yeah, how to breathe. But your first imagination is those who swim fast, those who can swim long distances must have huge lungs that can store a lot of air. But very soon, you will understand it is not so. They don't have huge lungs. What do they have? They are not afraid of losing air. They know one thing. Air is all around, whether we walk, stand, or whether we are on a pool or in sea swimming. What we do? It's the same thing. Breathe in, breathe out. We don't store air in lungs. OK? The same applies for business. Money is like air. It's always there. But those who are afraid to swim are really afraid to breathe in the water. The same for business. If you know the sources of funding, then you are not afraid to do business. Let me, I know it's not nice, but let me just tell you what I observed. Out of my sample here, 35, okay? And I got only four answers for this question. If you have, if you want to start up a business, from where do you get money? The, the first three answers which I got, I got only four answers. The first three answers which I got from one ethnic group, okay? Maybe that applies in elsewhere as well. So this is why certain ethnic groups are really good in business. Jews in USA, they are really good in business. Even Warren Buffett, okay, uh, these people know how to tap money. Okay, I'm not continuing on that path. Okay, we'll go ahead. The VC, venture capital, makes its money by owning a piece of the company and typically selling it for more money than it brought it for. Bank loan is well a loan. It is a transaction evolving, involving debt that is provided at an interest rate, which is how the bank makes its money. These are very different financing options. Okay. Venture capital and banking are two different financing models. Now, venture capital, when they give away money, they take ownership of the firm to which they give money. I'll tell you some nice examples. Apple computers. Let me check whether we have that example. Yeah. Apple company was started by by whom apple computers who started that company steve jobs yeah correct steve jobs okay so that's steve jobs if you have seen this movie steve jobs you have seen young steve jobs go to an investor symposium there is a seminar 
and young investors in front of a small gathering of uh, young innovators in front of a small gathering of investors come up with their project proposals so they show the potential of their businesses when uh, steve jobs completed it seems no one is interested and when the second guy start up to make his presentation others flock around steve jobs comes out and someone comes behind him and they discuss and the other guy start to invest that's mike makula okay so steve jobs had the brain mike had money they both got together and created the first company known as apple mike makula is an american electrical engineer businessman and investor he was an angel investor and the second ceo of apple that's how the google tells about him second ceo of apple you can see mike makula gave money to steve jobs to start up the business mike makula had less or no understanding about what steve jobs was doing but he became active partner and the second ceo means what he is actively involved in the business when a bank give loans when a bank give away loans to a company they don't ask a directorship they don't want to get involved in day to day management activities they give you free hand and whether you make profit or loss you have to pay me with an interest that is the agreement but for venture capital they become active members management partners what does it mean they involve in your activities day to day business activities unlike a bank and they are ready to go for profit share what is profit share if you make profit i need a part of it if you make loss yes i have to bear it it's like islamic finance a little bit okay profit share and they give away money not to remain in the business forever it is said mike makula would have been the richest man in the world if he did not so if he did not sell apple shares means what mike makula gave money to steve jobs was the second ceo of apple and he sold his entire stake in the stock exchange and got away means what these angel investors are not going to remain in your business forever instead they want to sell and restart another new company okay now who is an angel investor an angel investor is a person who invests in a new or small business venture providing capital for startup or expansion angel investors are typical individuals who have spare cash excess money available and looking for a higher rate of return than would be given by more traditional investments okay now you have an understanding of venture capital venture capital is provided by angel investors who are angel investors rich individuals who have excess money and they want to invest in that in a mechanism where they will get more return than any other traditional investment and they will become partners shareholders of the company to which they give loans from one side they charge interest on it because they give away money the other side they charge a management fee because they involve in day to day activities when you are the ceo or when you call yourself the second ceo you charge a salary you charge a management fee okay so bank is not doing that now remember angel investors charge a very high interest rate for the loan they give than a bank why angel investors charge a very high interest rate than a bank why
very good because they undertake a very high risk very good they undertake extremely high risk therefore higher the risk higher the reward therefore they charge very high interest they charge a management fee why angel investors they charge a management fee after giving a loan why why do they charge a management fee because they involved in day to day management because they are part of management correct actively engaged in business correct so this is why they charge a very high interest rate plus a management fee okay right then remember they don't want to remain in business they are not shareholders they are angel investors they become shareholders and after typically after 3 to 5 years they want to exit so they always invest with the exit plan right when the real shareholders want to remain in the business forever angel investors want to get out of the business very soon 3 to 5 years now how do they get out i invest you come with a project proposal i am impressed then i invest and i charge a management fee plus interest rate but within 3 to 5 years when the business is grooming i want to get out how do i get out i have 30% of your shares i have 30% of your company's shares and i want to get out of your business how do i get out selling the shares very good that is the answer selling the shares how do i sell shares number one i can ask my loan taker can you buy my 30% at this rate that's one option but what is the most popular option getting listed in a stock exchange and selling the stake to general public okay. so i can get out by selling my stake to the general public we talk about mike makula then let me tell about another one you have heard about walter disney he is a cartoonist and when he started his first silent cartoons colorless and there was a doctor who was interested in this doctor has lot of excess money and he was interested in investing for a company that should be started by walter disney he called to disney and said can we meet up i want to discuss some business matters with you he was just a start up business guy then walter disney said i can't come today then this investor asked what is the reason are you already in discussion with another investor then this very creative guy disney said no i have given my shoes to the cobbler to resell <clears throat> and i have to give him 1 dollar and i don't have that money until i get my shoes i cannot come and meet you okay now if this kind of answer comes to you the banker you will never give loans why should i undertake that risk but this guy the investor came up to disney and said okay i'll give you 1 dollar right we sold your shoe and let's start up our business so venture capitalists are not evaluating a person like a bank they only evaluate the project proposal not the payback history not the asset value of the business guy they evaluate only the business nothing else differences between lending and venture capital 
lenders have a legal right to interest on a loan and repayment of the capital irrespective of the success or failure of a business whether you make profit or loss pay me my interest that's lenders way venture capital is invested in exchange for the equity stake ownership shares as a shareholder the venture capitalist return depends on the growth and profitability of the business okay right now i would say venture capitalists are extremely careful when they are selecting project proposals why venture capitalists are extremely careful when they are evaluating project proposals why you know what else risk is there what else describe a little bit Right. I'll tell you another nice story. Julius Caesar once came to an island with a small army in a ship. And after landing, Julius Caesar said, "We must capture the rule, the rule of this country, and we must conquer this war." Our army is very less. and the army of this island is extremely higher than us but we must conquer this land and he burned down the ship which we they which they came right why did julius caesar burn the ship they came you come to an unknown land with a small army with the intention of controlling taking the control of this land and you had to fight against a huge army and you burned down the ship which you came what is the intention of burning down the ship okay to build up confidence what else why did he burn down the ship when you have a ship what is your intention when you have the ship what is your intention to get back if you lose to get back safely if you lose okay yeah to return right that's it now you don't have any other alternative when a bank is giving loan they always keep the ship collateral if i can't conquer this land i can get out safely i have the collateral but venture capitalists are like julius caesar the moment you go in you cannot get out unless you become successful in the business you conquer the land find wood in that land build the ship from that slaves of your army and you can safely go back no other alternative okay so venture capitalists they don't have any other alternative no assets no collaterals nothing your only mechanism is success of your business okay so you look at the project proposal where the cap no other alternative do or die either you lose your entire wealth or you make a massive profit but that is not the way banks and finance companies are lending exit strategy this return is generally earned when the venture capitalist exits by selling its share holdings when the business is sold okay now how do you exit how do you exit i have already told that answer how do you exit from a business how does a venture capitalist buy selling shares buy selling shares very good in order to sell shares 
in order to sell shares what must be there in order to sell shares what must be there there must be a active capital market got it in order to sell there must be a very active capital market now in sri lanka let's say from 2015 to 2020 or 2019 our liquidity was very less in stock market 1 billion shares trading per day was not hurt much but by now the market is so active 5 billion sri lankan rupees value shares trading per day is not a big issue at least 1 to 2 billion always trade means what then there is an active capital market so when there is an active capital market it's very easy to get list and exit to we'll talk about share market next okay now i'll i'll ask another question venture capital is not a prominent business in sri lanka why okay. think logically and tell me venture capital is not a popular financial instrument why okay yeah we don't have an active capital market who are the members of active capital market general public who is general public that's you okay. when you say you don't have a cds account okay means what you are not members of this general public okay. then i'll take a little bit of time to describe and compare sri lanka with some other countries japan okay in somewhere in the beginning of 90s a us ship came to japan by the time japan from the known history was a self sufficient island isolated set of islands they were not interested in international trading and as per their caste system traders were in the lowest caste means what they were not interested in trading business as a result no foreign traders came to japan and settled down so this is very natural you don't find the descendants of arabians in japan they were not interested in international trading compared to that let's say sri lanka from non history traders came to sri lanka that was not the case with japan and this us ship shot few cannon balls and gave a threatening message to japanese government start up sorry open up your harbors for international trade allow free trade by that time there was a emperor a 7 years old boy and the next layer was samurais samurais divided into two classes one represent the traditional thing they said why do we want to afraid of these samurais with our samurai swords we can cut bullets so in movies you can easily see how the samurais uh, take their swords and wave against coming bullets and how the bullets are cut down into pieces that happens only in movies the second set of samurais they believed whoever they are they are far ahead of us instead of fighting with them and losing why don't we join with them learn what we have to learn from them and that kind of samurais want the power okay so there is a nice movie last samurai and uh, one samurai finally the decision maker is the emperor this 7 years old boy in this movie the samurai who represent the modern says his emperor's voice is too pure to be heard and they take control and they exactly follow what americans were doing and they create 
democracy not a general public voting system but they themselves appoint someone uh, by the name of Ito Hirobumi and make him the first prime minister of Japan and this first prime minister of Japan travels to so-called developed nations by that time US Britain and he didn't get much he went to German to Germany and he learned a lot he stayed almost six months in Germany and after that many Japanese businessmen started to travel to Germany learn their art and come back and start up manufacture they copied everything from the known developed Europe and by 1940s they were a member of Hitler's party Hitler's team Italy Germany and Japan Japan had this connection because of this relationship but at the very beginning of 90s Japanese understood one thing think scientifically manufacture in mass scale and conquer the world right even then there were a set of traditional Japanese you can clearly watch that difference in last samurai okay who believed no we our traditional mechanism is far ahead of these known western methods okay think about okay by that time in sri lanka uh, people like dharmapal anagadika dharmapal he used to go to japan and do business with them and uh, to take some of sri lankan businessmen and show them what japanese are doing and they started many businesses in sri lanka similarly like uh, box of matches right they started at the very beginning they even started companies and created shareholding issued bonds 90s but later on we became more and more and more traditional today you can see what is happening in our country when the world is going behind modern technology biotech vaccines we believe still in uh, old gods who will help us in dreams and create formulas secret formulas and we believe not in mass scale production but hidden small kitchen made bottles right as a panacea for all diseases still we are far behind this modern world the modern world find a lot of new innovative ideas and they come up with new type of capital movements new type of businesses new models venture capital is still not in our mindset remember this steve jobs would not have done apple if not of mike makul disney the same there are many other businesses like that but we don't have venture capitalists we don't have that thinking pattern we still believe in some kind of a traditional mechanism okay the sale of shares to the company's principals is a common exit strategy for angel investor who hold equity ownership positions okay one common ways to the person i gave loan i am going to sell it that is one kind of exit the sale of merge of a company is another for the debt holding investor or you can go to equity market Then I'll tell you another story from U US. In 1929, there was a recession in US that was known as the Great Depression. A lot of people were fired out from their working places. Jobs were extremely less. People were queuing up for food. In this backdrop, in this backdrop, 
a boy from a village by the name of Woolworth, just 16 years old boy, came to city to sell milk bottles. He found people are staying in a queue. He went up to them and asked why they are waiting. The answer is they are waiting for a job vacancy. A shop owner is interviewing a potential assistant, a work assistant. This young boy also joined the queue. Those days, child labor was not illegal. So this 16 years old boy joined in. And when his turn came, the shop owner asked, how much do you want as a salary? He said, I don't want a salary. I want a place to sleep and food to eat. Immediately, he was given the job. And this young boy, for almost one year, worked without a salary. But after one year, the shop owner gave him a very small salary. He collected money. He used to live a life, very simple life, and he continued accumulating all the money he kept. Until one day, he went up to the shop owner and said, can I buy you a shop? I have money to buy you a shop. By that time, the shop owner was in debt. He readily agreed. And Woolworth purchased the company which he worked and came up with a lot of nice strategies. Finally, by 1960s, yeah, he built the world's tallest building those days, Woolworth building, without borrowing a single cent from banks. Okay. So, you may offer as a strategy to buy the rest of shares from the other partner. So, angel investor would go to Steve Jobs and say, okay, buy my shares. Or, let's go and list it so I can sell it to the general public. So, these are the ways of getting out of the business. Okay. So you can see a lot of differences between venture capital and conventional banking. Conventional bankers, like any other army commander, prefer to have a ship harbored. So you can exit easy. That is your collateral. Venture capitalists are like the commander Julius Caesar. Burn down the ship. No other alternative. The only way to get out is the success of your business. After putting your money, if you have failed, if your business failed, you don't have any exit strategy. Means what? You have to work hard. You have to have a do or die fight in your business and make it success and get out of it. Now, I told you some issues with our mentality. We believe in secret formulas that comes to your mind when you are meditating or when you are dreaming. Maybe, yeah, somewhere in yeah, 2004 or somewhere by that time, a person in Sri Lanka said he can run cars by water, H2O. He even went to temple trees and displayed that to the president. Okay. Now I'm asking you a question. Have you ever seen any innovator of this modern world go to the ruler of the country, maybe the president or the king, and display his new product? Do you think Samsung, immediately after launching the new mobile phone, goes to the president or the prime minister of South Korea and display it? Do you think Walter Disney immediately after launching a movie goes to the president of that country and asks him to watch it? No. No, that's not happening. But here, you go to do that and you get media publicity. Those days, there was a very good-hearted, good gentleman. He gave him money to start up his dream product. This person vanished with the money. So, 
venture capital venture capital list before giving away money evaluate maybe steve jobs have so many nice thinking patterns maybe in his leisure time he thinks a lot and come up with a superb set of uh, models but before launching they are undergoing a testing process before giving money a project proposal is evaluated in this project proposal you must have technical feasibility economic feasibility market feasibility and we call them feasibility reports okay now biotech is an area where we angel investors are extremely happy to invest the problem is it takes so long to launch it commercially unlike mobile phones unlike software but the return is extremely high think if you innovated a vaccine for covid 19 how much can you earn the problem is it takes more than one year you have to wait a lot who has not so far recommended any of these vaccines even though some countries have to wait in a very fast track to protect their own people but who has to follow their own process anyway bio tech is an area venture capitalists are interested in giving away loans so there is technical feasibility market feasibility economic feasibility these reports but for our producers you don't want anything you get media i immediately when you say you have a secret formula okay debt financing versus equity financing debt financing involves borrowing a fixed sum from a lender which is then paid back with interest equity financing is the sale of a percentage of the business to an investor in exchange of capital so venture capital is equity finance i share my ownership with the investor debt versus equity finance debt management influence not at all so i told you when you are running your business the bank is not coming to and looking into your day to day activities no unless there are specially agreed conditions in debt financing when a bank give loans they don't involve in management activities but for equity they have voting rights and they involve in day to day activities the payment debt has maturity date monthly annually biannually whatever it is you have maturity date and you have to pay that if not even default interest is charged but in equity there is no maturity yearly obligations payment on interest no legally liable to pay dividends okay whether you are the shareholder whether you are the angel investor there is no legal binding to pay you dividends tax benefit interest is tax deductible dividends are not tax deductible that's different from country to country okay so you can see some differences between equity financing and debt financing okay now i asked you a question earlier in today's context in this modern world people are not the innovators are not going to the rule and display the upside downs right. there is a book called why nations fail it's a very nice book which evaluate the evolution of different nations to development there is a one nice example in rome during the period of an emperor called Tiberius an innovator invented unbreakable glass okay. he innovated a glass where when you put it into the ground when you release it to the ground it may hit the ground but will not break into pieces normally glasses shatter and break into pieces but this glass once dropped fall and like any other metal a small dent will be on the surface and with a small hammer you can tap 
and remove that tint. Unbreakable glass. Okay. So this innovator took this unbreakable glass to the Emperor Tiberius. The Roman Emperor Tiberius asked one question from this innovator. Are there other manufacturers who can do this? Very proudly, this innovator said, no, I am the only innovator who can do this. But tell me what happened to this innovator. Tell me what would have happened to this innovator. Think and tell me, as you suggest, what would have happened to this innovator? Okay, that's one option. Others? Yes, the Tiberius killed him. The Tiberius killed him. Why? Remember, the world has not so far in reinvented this unbreakable glass. Okay, so that must be a superb innovation. But Tiberius killed him. Why? Because the Tiberius believed if he allowed this guy to manufacture unbreakable glasses, the demand would for gold would go down. Those days, gold is the best metal like now we'll talk about gold when we are talking about gold pawning right so tiberius was very much afraid the power of him lies with the amount of gold he's having in his treasure when this new metal like glass comes to the market he thought this innovator will become more rich than the king and he killed him okay so this book why nations fail talk from that angle where one individual decide whether a product would become successful or not to the situation where general public in the market decide whether a product would become successful or not okay. so there are in this book they talk about a lot of examples okay uh, in one example they talk about indonesia during the time of suharto son of Suhalta was interested in starting up a company to manufacture aeroplanes. And the author says, even Japan is not doing that. Japan manufacture cars, but they are not into aeroplanes. Suhalta was interested in, his son was interested in starting up aeroplane manufacturing company in Indonesia. And Suhalta, the president, sent a letter to the central bank to release funds through commercial banks. The governor has just kept the letter in his drawer. Later on, the president has summoned the governor and showed him a pistol. That's how in certain nations, the business are going to take place. But they do not know the real power lies with the general public who demand the product. Right. We are talking about angel investors and innovators. How do angel investors meet innovators? Number one, there can be references from trusted sources and other business contacts or investor conference and symposiums. That's where Mike Makula met Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs came up with this idea and Mike Makula was interested and they started a business. One is doing the real innovative, the other guy is funding him. Since we talked about Apple, you know there was a court case by Apple against Samsung, South Korean mobile phone. Okay. So in this book, Why Nations Fail, they talk about patent right. A manufacturer 
an innovator gets a patent right and he only can manufacture or else if someone else manufacture he should be given a commission or a rate agreed upon now i'll tell you some nice stories about this patent right samsung copied almost everything from apple okay so steve jobs once told his team i need a mobile phone which has no button at all those days all numerics were in buttons so he had to press buttons steve jobs said i need a mobile phone without a single button then engineer said that's impossible then he said finally i'll agree upon one button that's to on and off other than that i don't want any other button finally they came up with this smartphone version later on samsung copied almost everything from apple apple went to courts against samsung okay. unknown to samsung apple has got patent right for everything right you don't have a square shaped one the corners are ripped off for that you have patent right how do you swipe to this side one paper this side that side so everything apple has got a patent right in this court case samsung failed samsung had to pay a lot for apple so this book talks about honoring patent rights when you honor patent rights when the system honors patent right more and more innovators start to rethink those days there was nothing called innovators right you go to the king and show it and king of those all reject it or maybe killed like the unbreakable glass that's it but in developed nations they got the general public got the power over the king and they came up with this parliamentary elections and a mechanism where innovators can thrive so they came up with patent right which is a legal offense if copied okay so these are the methods of meeting angel investor qualities venture capital seek before i'm giving away loans i want to evaluate the business how do i evaluate that solid business plan good management team investment in passion from founders a good potential to exit the invest before the end of the funding cycle target minimum return in excess of 40% per annum now we are talking about these developed nations where the interest rate of bank ideally less than 5% like sri lanka now okay in that country 40% annual return is a super peak so these are the areas venture capitalists are looking at i am investing and i am undertaking an amazing risk therefore i need at least 40% return per annum plus the management fee so what i am looking at solid business plan a good management team investment and passion from the founders a good potential to exit the investment before the end of the funding cycle target minimum return okay but now you know what venture capitalists are looking at they look at passion of the founders steve jobs was very passionate on innovating then ibuka and akio morita of sony company engineers they were very passionate about the products they are manufacturing toyota of toyota company all of them were very passionate of what they are manufacturing venture capitalists they don't have passion for the product they have passion only for money therefore they look at people who are passionate not on money but on the product the technology steve jobs was not passionate on market 
He was not passionate on profits, but passionate on the product. Mike Makula was not passionate on Apple product. If so, he should have kept Apple shares even now. He was only passionate about making a killing out of investment, a huge return for investment. So they work together. Now, today we find a very good innovation in Sri Lanka, a herbal medicine for COVID-19. If you are a venture capitalist, would you invest in that? Now you can see the qualities you are seeking. Would you invest? Okay, so you are saying yes, others, Okay, you're business minded, good. Right. I am more analytical. If that is my chance, I will not invest. But that's the difference. Okay. How I think need not to be the exact way you have to think. So if you have money, maybe you will invest and get a killing out of that. But for me, I'm really looking at these factors, good management, are the people real passion about the product? Okay, how do I exit? But if you think these vaccines or these herbal medicines in Sri Lanka, that will be much in demand. Yes, your answer is accepted. Characteristics of venture capital. Qualities, characteristics. High risk and high return. Illiquid means what? I cannot get out of business unless it become very successful. So you are ship burning the ship until you become successful. Illiquid. Long term commitment. Yes, you have to wait for at least five years. Equity participation. Innovative projects, equity participation, okay. I being the investor, I loan 30%. You being the innovator, you will earn 70% or we'll agree 50-50 or we'll agree 60-40. So that's equity participation. Innovative projects, yes. New products. Participation in management. Okay, now I'm asking another question. Think practically and tell me. Banks are not involving in management. Banks are not involving in day to day management of a business to which they lend, but venture capitalists do. Why? Why do venture capitalists involve in day to day management? Why? Because they need to gain profit. Yeah, but. Oh, uh, yeah, but. Yeah, and also. Continue, okay, continue. Yeah, and also, they, uh, if they can look after actively participate on the management only they will be knowing what is the strength and uh, what is the weaknesses that they have and the opportunities and everything good now when you involve in day-to-day -day management means what i give you money that's right so that they have an idea about where the business is heading they are testing untested products. Yes, correct. Now, when I'm giving you money and when I, when I don't have a collateral, what can you do with that money? Okay. The banks, when they give away money, they undertake a collateral. Even if the people don't use the money for the purpose which they mentioned, and if they fail, still the bank is safe because they can sell out the collateral and collect the amount they invest. But for the venture capitalist, suppose someone comes to me and said, I can produce a car that can work, that can run out of water, no petrol or diesel required. I don't have any technical know-how. Then I would, he would say, I need 400 million. Then I, being the venture capitalist, I'm very prudent. I would say I'm not, I'm ready to give you 400 million, but not at once. 
I'll give you on piecemeal basis. I'll give you 100 million at once. Then show me the car. Then rest. I'll really store it. He take this 100 million and vanish. That cannot happen in venture capital. So I must ask him, okay, why do you want this 100 million? Because I want to buy spare parts. I have to go to Japan and I have to find this. Okay, fine. I'll come to Japan with you. Okay. So I am a manager of your business. I'll come with you. When you are buying, I'll approve to release payments for that purchase. Means what? I'm very safe. I am not allowing you to play a fool with the money which I invested. For the bank, they are not involving in day-to-day -day activities because if you if the business fail, still you can get hold of the collateral. So this is why the venture capitalists have to involve in day-to-day -day management. Professional and technical know-how. Yes, you should know some kind of knowledge about the product. Mike Makula was electrical engineer. Right. Then funding stages. Okay. As I mentioned, if you need 400 million, the venture capitalist not will, will not release you 400 million at once. He will release stage by stage. So there are stages of a venture capital business. Suppose scientifically, someone want to find a solution for this COVID-19. So there are stages. First, you have to have a lab, plus some equipments to purchase, plus professional fee for the scientists. Then after some time, to commercially produce it. After some time, to get the approvals. After some time, to market it, merchandise. So you, you can release these funds on a piecemeal basis. Seed funding. If I'm going to grow a tree, what I first do is I plant a seed. So remember that seed funding. A small capital like the seed of a tree, very small, low level financing need to prove a new idea. Bring me the seed and water it and let's see whether it sprouts out. That's seed capital. Low level financing need to prove a new idea, often provided by angel investors. Crowdfunding is also emerging as an option for seed funding. Okay. Now, one obstacle for finan removing financial intermediaries was geographically scattered. Right? If you want 400 million, most of the time, one individual will not be able to provide that for you. So you have to collect it from large number of people. Today, you have a lot of social platforms like Facebook and many other social networks. Let's say for social uh, Facebook, you can have about 4,000 friends in your list. Means what? You have access to 4,000 people where if each give you 100,000, you can multiply it by 400,000, and that's the amount you can collect. That kind of thinking is called crowdfunding, not an individual, but the crowd. I have seen an attempt done by Sri Lanka by uh, film director Ashok Handagama over Facebook to get money for the new film. Now, these kind of things are taking place in the world. We call it crowdfunding. People get together over social media and collect money for one project. But in Sri Lanka, I have seen a lot of uh, this social welfare activities taking place over social networks, okay. planting trees or so giving uh, essentials for school children in rural areas. The same, the similar activity can be done in business. So we call it crowdfunding. Right. So the first stage is seed funding. What is seed funding? Releasing a very low amount of capital to prove a new idea. Okay. I want to prove a new idea. 
for that, I had to develop a sample, test it to that. I had to release a little bit. Sometimes, not really to produce, but to come up the planning, complete the planning stage. Today, when you are constructing a building, architect will charge you a good amount. That is the seed funding of the building. You have not seen the building, but whether to see it's a good idea, you want this 3D design of your house to prove it's the ideal house for you, to prove a new idea. I'm going to release you a small amount of money that is called seed funding. <clears throat> then comes startup. Early stage firms that need funding for expenses associated with marketing and product development. After seed funding, when you show the product, okay, that's good. So we must sell it in the market. Early stage for marketing and product development. Now I have to develop the product and I have to market it. Okay. So in most of products, in marketing, you have something called product life cycle. This kind of graph we call S curve. So at the beginning, no one has heard the product. It takes time, slowly go up, right? Then all of a sudden, everyone wants the product. We call it market growth, then maturity, the top, then decline. So that is the normal curve. But today we find a lot of businesses, a lot of new products. On the very first day, they do a massive sale. On the very first day of launching the product, instead of coming from zero to the highest and going down, on the very first day, they don't start up selling at zero. They start up selling at a substantially higher level. How do you do that? Think about Harry Potter, the novel. On the launching day, there was a queue in front of Vijitya Appa Bookshop. Am I correct? Yes. How does it take place? Think about Jurassic Park. On the very first day, there was a very long queue and that lasted for about six months. The first Jurassic Park. Think about many Tamil movies. On the very first day, the amazing queue. So you don't start up zero sales. How does it happen? The same with today's mobile phones. On the launching day, the new model launching day, there's a huge demand. How does it happen? Yeah. Conventional marketing cycle, product life cycle is from zero to highest. But today, Many products come with highest and run a parallel line, then decline. Why this is happening? Yeah. Any suggestions? Quick. Lance is here. Lance is here. What is that? The second stage while manufacturing your marketing. Okay. While printing the book, Harry Potter, you market. On this day, this book is launched. Three orders accept. On the very first day, you get massive sale. Okay. A mobile phone, specific model. While manufacturing, you put advertisements. On this day, we are launching. So people queue up to buy. So for second stage, marketing and production. Third stage, early sales and manufacturing. Second round up. 
then expansion, also called mezzanine financing. Okay, you have reached a plateau. Now you want to go more. Finally, exit. That's going public. The last stage. Okay. So this is how the funding stages take place in venture capital. Now, when you are answering for exams, you have to answer in a very short, specific manner. Okay. So when you asked what is meant by venture capital, you can say it's a mechanism of raising private equity for startup companies. Funding taking place after evaluation of project proposals and done by angel investors. So you can write something like this. What is venture capital? It's a mechanism of raising private equity. OK. Now, in Sri Lanka, bank financing is very popular than venture capital. Why? So I'm giving you a question. In Sri Lanka, Lending from bank is popular than venture capital. Why? Okay, good. Right. Yeah, I see your answers. Yeah, we are very conventional. Okay. Now I'm asking you again, do you think Sri Lankans are not innovative? Yeah, we are innovative. We have seen many innovative activities take place. Okay, less incentives. Who should give you incentives? Less incentives, yes. Okay. Now, do you think that in United States and Germany, the government is giving incentives to the innovators? No. Then why do you want a parent model government in Sri Lanka. In US. Okay. Cost less number of angel investors. Okay. Now, do you think we don't have rich people in Sri Lanka? We need not to compare to the size of America, but we have yes we have okay we do definitely we do okay okay yeah there are enough you need not to name them dhammika perra ishara yeah delete there can be a lot of okay so even mr lalit kotalawala really was an angel investor right but something is not happening we expect government to do everything even now in the united states if you suffer from covid 19 that's your problem now okay what right. right. active capital market is not available who should activate the active capital market No initiative startup invest in VC. People still believe in traditional mode. Okay, yes. Now, who should start up? Who should start up? 
general public yes general public correct right i normally read sinhala and sometimes uh we yeah, are most of the sinhala national sunday papers i read and i'm really sorry about the status of these papers we still believe ramadavana we still believe ravana will awake from his long sleep and come up with magical solutions and you get all the solutions in your meditation sessions and these cobra like stories ghosts these fill up the pages of sinhala newspapers plus one or two pages on underworld appreciations plus few stories about the jvp rulers some of their members articles that's what sinhala newspaper is tamil there was recently tamil mirror was coming 10 rupee daily paper but other than that no other article on stock market no other uh, daily updates on stock exchange forex commodities happening in sinhala or tamil papers and the majority of this country still read sinhala and tamil newspapers okay so people are not aware then about the movies and the teledramas we associate even in crazy movies like forest gum okay in this movie this guy called forest gum not a educated guy but at once at one time he says my friend was fighting with me in vietnam now we are ex soldiers and he has asked me to use money to buy apple shares and today i live to live out of the dividend from this fruit company okay so even in movies they talk about economy and about markets and there are a lot of movies which talk about share market so general public comes to know about the products and uh, daily newspapers run articles about companies commercial world what is happening anyway when i read lion's roar the life story of or the autobiography of sorry the life story of anagarika dalpal written by dr sarath tamudugam a prominent politician they talk about the dalpal era 1918 to 1940s how much they were interested in doing business right samsung and harish chandra were almost equal companies both of them were noodle manufacturers dry fish sellers commodity producers both of them started in early 1950s both of them both of these companies have offered shares to their employees but look at harish chandra mills situation and some some situation to do okay so some changes have to happen in sri lanka and that should be done by general public i don't blame on any government that should be done by the general public okay we'll complete the session and if i have time we'll compare with some countries like south korea china and japan against us okay so this is venture capital then there is another very popular past paper question what are the funding sources of venture capital okay so angel investor is one which you have talked again and again mike mapla was one example large insurance companies last week we talked about insurance companies now large insurance companies they have excess money if you have excess money then only you can invest pension funds okay then venture capital companies okay now you know what is large insurance companies aia 
okay companies like that american general insurance so these huge insurance companies in sri lanka slic sri lanka insurance corporation they have invested a lot in stock exchange so they have excess money such people who can invest for a long period say five to six years they are ready to fund for innovators pension funds think about epf the biggest fund in south asia such funds can invest we'll talk about norwegian petroleum fund that's another superb pension fund which is investing then venture capital companies do you know about uh, richard branson have you heard about richard branson say yes or no richard branson yes what is his company what is his company virgin group okay okay right so i can see a mixed set of answers some of you know some of you do not know if you do not know about virgin group i would say that is the problem with the reading materials available to us our literacy ratio is extremely high but what do we really read take sinhala newspapers the majority of sri lanka still read sinhala newspapers and the writers are sinhala writers what do they write i have never seen any article about richard branson or virgin group in our book exhibition so called bmich exhibition i see a lot of sinhala books sold but not a translated version of these books like losing my virgin to written by richard branson his sort of biography no made in japan was written by akio morita his autobiography i have not seen any sinhala translation of that where are we heading okay now for those who do not know about uh, richard branson he is the biggest soul enterprise son of the world a wealthy rich english guy and his company is known as virgin group they include virgin airlines they started with music and by now richard is relatively old so he start, started a venture capital known as virgin venture that kind of companies are called venture capital companies okay let me tell you a story on that there was a employee of virgin group who was running virgin uh, courier service and at one time he was the ceo of that company at one time he said i'm going to retire then richard asked okay why do you want to retire he said my family is living in australia i have to go back to my family and live with them then we should ask okay what do you want to do in australia then he jokingly said i like to start up a airline a domestic airline in australia okay then he said then he said okay fine when you go to australia send me a proposal a project report on domestic airline he went to australia and sent the proposal the proposal went to virgin venture capital company and that was rejected after some times richard asked from the company virgin venture capital company have you got a project proposal from the guy who left us and moved to australia yes what happened we rejected Richard Branson by now is not much involving in evaluating project proposals. Then Richard said, "Okay, I want to have a look at it," and he approved. And this guy, he never thought Richard will approve that amount. All of a sudden, the his bank told him, "Someone has deposited this much of millions in your bank account. Why?" Then he knew it must be the amount he asked, and he talked to Richard, and he started. a domestic airline virgin blue in australia okay 
and Richard Branson really started Virgin Airlines with just one airplane. But this guy could start up his domestic airline before Sydney Olympics with almost 20 airplanes. And that became a superb company by that within one or two years. So that is a venture capital company. Okay. So remember, for exam purpose, there are funding sources for venture capital. The mostly known is angel investor. That is one. So when I asked why it's not popular in Sri Lanka, you were worried about the number of angel investors. Okay, there are enough such. Then we have large insurance companies. Yes, they are investing in stock market. We have pension funds like EPF, the biggest in South Asia. And maybe we don't have them. Okay, right. Pension funds. What do you mean by pension funds? Tell me what comes to your mind when I say pension fund. Tell me some pension funds. EPF, what else? ETF, what else? There are the private approved pension funds. Okay. Now let me tell you about Norwegian Petroleum Fund. Once we talk about stock market, we may again look at Norwegian Petroleum Fund. Why I'm talking about that is because we are talking about pension funds now. Norway is a European country. They did a lot of investigations to find oil, like Sri Lanka. Right? In Sri Lanka, during Sirima Bandar Nayaka Sira, they were investigating to find oil in Northern Sea area. And all of a sudden, in newspapers, there were articles showing uh, the new suspected liquid found in Northern Sea, and that must be oil. Okay, and that is happening even now. Very soon you will see it again. It has been repeating for four or five decades. No way. They were also investigating on oil, and finally they hit the gold, the oil, in Northern Sea. The same. And the moment they found oil, Norwegian government said oil belongs to Norwegian government and to its people. By that time, they have understood a situation known as Dutch disease. Okay. Now, yeah. Let me put that Dutch disease. So in your pressure time, you can study on that Dutch disease. Netherlands, they found oil. Once you find oil, you can easily sell it, unlike any other product. And the demand is extremely high, high for oil. The moment you start exporting oil, your domestic currency become so expensive compared to other currencies in the world. Okay. So Netherlands found it's very difficult to sell any other product. It is very difficult to export any other product than oil. Why? When your currency appreciate, other foreign nations find it very difficult to afford that. So very naturally, all the other industries collapse. But it's not a big issue for your country, Netherlands, because you earn enough foreign exchange out of oil. And oil is not a renewable energy or a renewable source. One day you found your oil wells have or the gas sources have dried out. And now you don't have your old traditional industries. They have already collapsed and you don't have any more oil and gas. You're gone. That is called Dutch disease. Norway understood that. So Norway said, whatever the excess money we get out of petrol, we will not reinvest in our country or on oil. 
instead we will invest elsewhere so there won't be much impact on the norwegian corner so you can continue your traditional businesses without any harm like exporting fish they continued with that they initially invested in uh, bonds government bonds of developed nations like us treasury bills and bonds but very soon they found other petroleum funds like Qatar petroleum fund is doing far ahead than Norway. So Norway allowed their central bank, Norges Bank, to invest in shares. Initially, they invested in non companies, but very soon the Norges petroleum fund started investing everywhere by now. More than 3% of the entire world's companies owned by Norwegian petroleum fund. Even in Sri Lanka, companies like uh, JKH, Commercial Bank, uh, Central Finance, People's Leasing, uh, in their top 20 list, Norwegian Petroleum Fund is there. Okay. So they, being a pension fund, started investing. So these are the funding sources. So you must be at least to mention four funding sources of venture capital. Whatever you write, first write angel investing, then you have the rest. Okay, that's what I was referring. Richard Branson's book. So I caught it from somewhere. From this point on, Branson developed a new approach to business called branded venture capital, virgin venture capital. Through this method, Branson licensed virgin name and logo in exchange for the controlling interest in the venture. And it till now, Branson fixed his company's name to more than 400 different companies. So that's how innovative Richard Branson is. Okay. Now venture capital, positives and negatives against bank loan. For example, purpose, you must be able to compare a bank loan with venture capital. Positive, will provide finance for high risk projects. There are many projects that were rejected by banks became very successful. Okay. Gutenberg of Germany, he innovated printing machine. He went to banks then and said, look here, I have innovated a machine called printing machine. These are the set of characters. I'll fix it on a board and I'll apply print and when I touch a paper against that, you will get a printout. Since the letters are on mirror side, you come up with readable articles. And I want to, a loan to commercially launch it. The banks asked him, okay, if not of your machine, how do people read books? He said, people read books written by handwriters called scribblers. Okay, so the Bible was the mostly used book then. There were a lot of people who were trained not to miss a single sentence, not to erase, but perfectly do it. And they used nice fonts, traditionally trained. Okay, the bank said, okay, look at your board. You have only set of fonts, but these scribblers, the writers, they can creatively do more fonts. We are not interested in giving you any loan. So banks rejected. By that time, there was a split in the church. A set of young Christians by the name of Protestants in Germany started to activate against Roman Catholic Church. And they need fa fast printing mechanism. So John Gutenberg was there giving him the right solution and that was funded so became the world first printing machine okay. there were ample of such examples there was a guy chester carlson he innovated something called uh, a machine to take copies so he's an electrical engineer and he developed a concept where you put that printed book 
Now John Gutenberg can print books. Okay, that printed book on a light box, and you can take a copy out of that after running some light trays. Then the banks questioned him, okay, why do people want this machine? How much will be the cost per copy? And if not of this machine, how do people copy? Okay, in order to copy, you have carbon papers. Okay, what is the cost of a carbon paper and how many print, uh, copies you can take? Okay, they compared and filtered and rejected Carlson, Chester Carlson's machine. Chester Carlson worked in different places. He went to 20 or big companies and suggested his proposal. Everyone rejected. But finally, after many years, he founded with the angel investor the world first photocopy company called Xerox. Thanks, Stream. Today you can get any photocopy. Banks rejected. Okay. So venture capital. Positive side is will provide finance for very high risky projects. Okay. Printing machines, photocopiers, mobile phones. Okay, Mike Makula was there for Apple, but banks rejected. Benefits from experienced and contacts of venture capitalists may know industry. Okay. Mike Makula was also an engineer. So he had some kind of knowledge of what he is investing. That benefited Steve Jobs. The negatives, very high interest. My God, 40% is extremely high when I can take a loan at 5%. Loss of control as I have to give up a share of business. Okay, my business, but someone else also take decisions along with me. So that's the negative side. Bank, positive side, lower interest. Okay, these days banks are hunting behind potential customers to give away loans at a very low interest. No need to give up control because bank does not want to give up a share of business. A bank don't want my management. I'm really happy with that. Maybe simple and quicker to organize. Yes. Negative. Not available if high risk business idea. Okay. My idea is classified as high risky and I don't get along. Crowdfunding versus traditional method of funding. Okay, so you have something called crowdfunding, bank, venture, crowd, collateral. Do I have to come up with the security? Yes, for the bank loan, no for the venture, no for the cloud. Okay, now I told you what is crowdfunding, a cloud scattered in different geographic locations get together in a social media platform and start to fund in their own capacity. Time required, long, long, yeah. This one relatively fast. Okay, bank will take a long time to evaluate the project. Venture capital, yes, they will evaluate relationship, previous relationship with the bank helpful. Okay, I have a very good past record. Yeah, relationship. You must at least have some kind of relationship with the right person or in a symposium. Can give support from many people, yeah from social networking, so no need. Success varies. Venture capital, very less. Varies from platform, outcloud accept seven to eight percent, okay. Management control, bank, no need. Venture capital, huge, cloud, once again, like banks. Lot of people, so they don't involve in management activity. So you must be able to compare venture capital against bank loans or against crowdfunding or both. Crowdfunding, best fundraising sites like this. You can learn about them by going into online platforms. Types of crowdfunding, reward based. It involves individuals contributing comparatively small amounts of money to projects in return of some kind of a reward. So you have kickstart.com, right? Donation based crowdfunding. I'll give you money and I'll forget you. It is a way to source money for the project by asking a large number of contributors to individual donate a small amount. Go fund me. That's an example. Peer to peer funding. It is the practice of lending money to individuals or business through online services that matches lenders. Okay. So there are third parties once again, like Wonga.com or like lending 
cloud. There are third parties who do a intermediate with the evaluation. Then cloud funding. You must come up with a plan, clarify it, then you create a company, then you put posts in your Facebook and you have to promote it. Then you have to say, this is how I'm going to reward it. Then get money, then distribute it, then successfully share it. Okay, that's another book, Startup Nation. The story of Israel's economic miracles. Okay. Israel is a very small country situated in Arabian Peninsula. It's not actually a country, but a created country. After Second World War, uh, the winning party created a country for the most affected people. Now it is said uh, Roosevelt, Franklin D. Roosevelt was the president of US during Second World War period. But okay, he was a very good friend of King of Saudi Arabia. They both finally were wheelchair leaders. So they had very similarities and they were very good friends. The king of Saudi Arabia has asked from uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, why do you want to create a country in Arabian Peninsula for the affected party, the Jews? We the Arab have done nothing to Jews, but if you want to do something for Jews, do it in Germany. It is Germans who did these malpractices on Jews, not us. However, Franklin D. Roosevelt died and uh, Harry Truman became the president of US. It is during Harry Truman's time the atomic bomb was blasted in Hiroshima, uh, Japan, and he had no involvement with the king of Saudi Arabia and they created Israel. Anyway, Israel is a very small country, about 8 million people, and even lesser than that. But they do the amazing amount of manufacturing and agricultural products in the world. Venture capital is the most famous form of business formation. They have wealthy people scattered around the world in US and rest of the European countries. They fund most of these venture capital companies. In this book, there's a nice story about a new product. Okay. So in this country, they have the government patron practice of venture capital takes place. So when you pass out from university, you have a chance to come up with your project proposal and discuss, present it in front of a possible set of investors. They have that symposiums. One young boy stood up and said, we must develop more greener world. So we must develop vehicles which are running without fossil fuels, petrol or diesel. In addition to that, remember, by now, these uh, neighboring countries are very hostile to Israel. So they have some other political issue with the Arabian Peninsula as well. So Arabian Peninsula purely depends on oil. So Israel really interested in manufacturing vehicles without fossil fuel. Shimon Peres, the founding father, one of the founding father of Israel was in the audience. He said, okay, nice words. What next? Shall we start up? Then this boy said, okay, we Israelis are not manufacturing vehicles. What we can do is we can make this proposal to the car manufacturing companies. And Shimon Peres said, okay, fine. Instead of asking these car manufacturers to come to Israel, we'll go to Switzerland and invite them to Switzerland to have a discussion with us. They did it. 
Now you, they have a project proposal. What is the project proposal? Manufacture cars without fossil fuel. They invited five big companies, two from US, they did not turn down. But three others came, two from Japan. Toyota CEO said, we are almost there. We are manufacturing hybrid. Okay. Then Shimon Peres said, hybrid is like a mermaid. When you need a girl, when you need a woman, you get a fish. When you need a fish, you get a woman. Okay. So what we need is not a mermaid, but either the fish or the woman. And Toyota proposal is rejected. Then came with Nissan. Nissan said, we are almost there. We have Nissan Leaf, which is electric car, no fossil fuel based. Then Shimon Perez asked, OK, what can we do for you? He said, OK, the problem we are facing at the moment to test our Nissan Leaf, we need a location where there must be some kind of state patronage because the battery is expensive, very expensive those days, the initial testing. So what they did in Israel, they started up a company called Better Life. And with that, you can lease out the Nissan car plus the Nissan electric battery. Anyway, this venture capital failed. However, Nissan got the learning lesson and they came up a better version and came up with Nissan Leaf, now that is sold as a car for cities. So remember that not all the products introduced by venture capital have succeeded. Most of them failed, but we only talk about the successful ones. But these successful ones are so good, their profit is so huge, therefore still there is a very good demand for venture capital business. Okay, now we are preparing for the exam. So one purpose is to pass the exam with the respective grades you prefer. Okay. So let's look at what we have been doing so far. And I'm asking you questions. You can send me the answers in the chat box. Okay. What is meant by Uprima fee day? The insurance policy, the insurance principle. Them of eating. Last week we discussed. Yeah, at most faith, we are disclosing all material facts. Correct. Tell me five types of general insurance products. List, list five general insurance products. Okay, good. What are the factors that will affect to a life insurance policy, premium of a life insurance policy? What are the factors that affect to the premium of a life insurance policy? Okay, good. What is bank assurance? Okay, very good. Depression, gender, history. Okay, very good. What is bank assurance? Okay. Okay, you can use the word collaboration as well. Bank in collaboration with insurance company where both parties become mutual beneficial. Okay, good. What is reinsurance? What is reinsurance?
So, okay, there is a movie called uh, Yeah, there's a movie called House of Lloyds. It talks about this reinsurance business, very old movie in black and white. House of Lloyds. Now, Lloyds was a place, okay, Lloyds was a coffee house where it was located near the harbor and many people, uh, the business people, got into this coffee house and started marine related issues. And very well, soon it became Lloyd's insurance company, underwriting business. And when the, the Napoleon Bonaparte was attacking British ships, there was an issue by these reinsurance companies to increase the premium for ship for ships. And they found it so threatening that some asked British Navy to provide uh, security for commercial ships. In this situation, the Lloyd's insurance company said, okay, we are not going to increase the insurance premium for ships. So that was a very nice story on reinsurance, but very old one black and white, so not be much interesting. Right, then we talked about funding sources. For the new business, tell me three funding sources for the new business. Three funding sources for the new business. Yeah. Now we see and the angel investor is one source. Okay. Now remember this. I didn't ask what are the funding sources of venture capital. Okay. Get me correct. Yeah. That's it. Funding sources for the new business. That's what I asked. Okay. Now when you are answering for exam papers, clearly read the question. Okay, what are the funding sources for the venture capital? What are the funding sources of venture capital? Then you have angel investors. What next? Insurance companies. Pension funds. Venture companies like Richard Branson's Virgin Venture. Okay, pension funds like Norwegian Petroleum Fund. So you can even give examples. When I say what are the funding sources available for the new startup business, you have bank loans, you have friends, you have saved money, you have venture capital, you have crowdfunding. Out of that you can say. When I say what are the funding sources of venture capital, you have these four answers. Angel investor, pension funds, insurance companies, venture capital companies. Okay. What are the funding sources of a specialized leasing company, SLC? Funding sources of a, yeah. Yeah, what else? Okay, very good. Thank you. So we today completed talking about venture capital. Next week, we'll talk about commercial uh, share market. At the same time, remember next week is the Christmas era, Christmas time. Okay, so you don't have classes on next week, next Saturday. We'll meet after that. Okay, thank you. So you don't have classes on next Saturday. Please remember that. Thank you.